Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back and uh, we haven't got a modded weapon for you today, we've actually got a modded shield. Um, so although these are called modding weapon guides, we will look into absolutely everything that's been released uh, from the mod side on the uh, community GitHub. Um, so uh, just to save me having to put in modded weapon gear, items, guides, things like that, just to uh, take a modded weapon guide as meaning anything. Um, but yeah, anyway, today we are back and we've got something uh, new to review. It's actually a modded shield and it's made by Angria Pat over on the community GitHub. Uh, now the good thing about Angrier Pat is not only is he making these uh, weapons and items and stuff like that, uh, he's actually also giving them a dedicated um, source to actually loot them as well, which uh, others haven't yet provided, I do not believe. Um, so not only has he brought out this um, shield that we're bringing, uh, reviewing today, the candy bag, he's also made it farmable from Jack-O-Lantern over in the Headhunter DLC, so that's pretty cool as well. I've got a new... Uh, source of loot to actually uh, farm from a boss and uh, yeah this is uh, the candy bag from jack-o-lantern if you also check out the rest of the stuff on his channel you will see that uh, things like the other um, headhunter bosses like the uh, snowman tinder snowflake whatever his name is um, wild gobbler things like that they are all now farmable from angrier pat once you enable uh, the stuff uh, on his page and you can actually go ahead and get them so today we're looking at the candy bag and as you can see right here I managed to get it to drop I think it took me three attempts um, to get from uh, jack-o-lantern so of course I'm going to start by showing you guys exactly where to get this thing um, once you go over to the community github you can obviously click in the link in the description down below and uh, that'll take you straight to it but if you're over on the uh, community github just click on borderlands 2 mods and then head over to angry at pat's section click on that and currently right at the top you'll see the candy bag v2 right there um, so go and click on that then you can right click uh, after you click the raw tab at the top right of the screen um, read all the information that it says there by the way before doing this because you need to know some things right click save as and then save it into your binaries folder remember what you've saved it as because once you open the game you need to enable your console commands and activate it through the console commands and then you can go and farm a jack-o-lantern for a candy bag uh, so this is a little overview of it right now you can see oh, there is the weapon card details of everything what it looks like uh, i'll of course be reviewing everything that this thing does and i'll tell you about it in a second when we go and try this out so if you don't want to farm jack-o-lantern for this you can just go straight to uh, gibbed give yourself um, the Equitas shield that's A-E-Q-U-I-T-A-S if I mispronounce that I think it's the Equitas anyway um, and that is exactly uh, what's turned into the candy bag using the uh, text file in the console commands so we're going to give this a uh, bit of a try in Sawtooth Cauldron uh, right now so uh, obviously like I said this drops from Jack-O-Lantern you have to have the Halloween Headhunter DLC uh, pack for this to actually work uh, unfortunately if you don't have it uh, I believe this will not work because this drops things that uh, are only available in the headhunter uh, pack or sorry were first introduced in the uh, first headhunter pack um, so basically this is a booster shield now uh, we've seen booster shields in Borderlands 2 before where if you get hurt there's a small chance that uh, something will pop out of it to give you a bit of health regen and stuff like that or little bits of health actually pop out of the shields I'm not massively sure on that because I've never really used a booster shield um, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, how it goes I think there's that one that drops from the uh, from Lucky as well uh, that drops pot of gold is it that drops cash out for you every time you get hit uh, it's that type of shield it's been modded to uh, actually drop the candies from the uh, Headhunter DLC um, the Hallowed Hollow DLC um, so now uh, every time you get hit there's a 10% chance I believe it is 10.1% chance it said on the weapon card um, for a candy to pop out. Now these candies are pretty cool, they give you really good boosts. I'll explain uh, what all four candies do right now. So you've got the uh, the red candies, uh, that will give you a 100% damage increase. So picking a red candy up will just make you more powerful uh, overall. Uh, a blue candy will give you a very fast ammo regeneration, which uh, when you're especially a Gunzerker, Gunzerking uh, dual wielding two pistols like I am you can soon go through a lot of ammo so uh, picking up one of the blue candies will give you some good ammo regen uh, and these things do pop out pretty well actually so uh, you're always going to be uh, picking them up and getting these boosts it's just to uh, look which one you actually get uh, the yellow candies is an 80% movement bonus so uh, if you're trying to speed run 
uh, through an area, things like that. This thing is really good to get you just sped up or you could just run past them and run to the other side of the map very quickly. And then finally green will give you a 20% damage reduction and added health regeneration as well. So uh, yeah, all very handy. Uh, like I said, um, that is exactly all you need to know. Thanks to Angrier Pat for uh, creating this and he said uh, in his notes with a lot of help from the Nocturni as well who's helped him uh, do that. Also the red text on it just says don't eat it all at once and then some side text saying you eat it all anyway. Um, so yeah, that's everything you need to know guys about the candy bag. Uh, real big thanks to Angrier Pat for this and like I said I do like the fact that uh, you've you can actually go and farm this from a, a new boss as well uh, to actually get it. So thank you guys for watching, really hope you enjoyed another modded weapon guide and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.